Hey friends, welcome back. Thanks for sharing your time with us today. Randall here with Cooking Under Pressure, a YouTube channel dedicated to teaching you how to use your pressure cooker, whether it's an Instapot, Power Pressure Cooker, XL, whatever pressure cooker you have, we're gonna show you the tips and tricks on how to use your pressure cooker. And as always, if you could, please subscribe if you already have. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for all the likes, thanks for the comments, anything you wanna add, please share it with us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We have an awesome recipe for you today. We have a new Instant Pot, it's a six quart, curry, coconut, chicken salad in the Instant Pot. I can't wait to share this with you. It is a fantastic recipe. Let's head over to the Instant Pot right now. Welcome to my new six quart Instant Pot. See my easy to place in trivet. We're gonna pop that in. For the chicken breast, I've got four split breasts. You can use any type of chicken breast that you like. Uh, I like the split breast because it's easier to pull the meat off uh, of the breast and I like the rib meat. So that's the chicken breast that I tend to use. We're gonna put in eight ounces of chicken stock. You can put in water if you'd like, or any stock that you prefer. i put in chicken stock. And here are the chicken breasts. We'll just lay them straight in with the rib meat. I've got about three pounds of chicken breasts here that we're gonna use. You can just stack them straight on top of each other. Slip this last one in here underneath our trivet to make it easier to pull out. Drop that straight in there. And the only seasoning I'm going to use before I put the lid on is Montreal chicken seasoning. And I just kind of coat the top chicken breasts with that. Remember to make sure you always put your liquid in first because if you look, put the liquid in after you season it, guess what happens? All of the seasoning washes off. Now I get to pinch that and we will set the Instapot to 15 minutes. Let's go do that right now and we'll get this started. Alrighty, let's set our Instapot to 15 minutes. So you can see I've already closed the lid. I have sealed the pressure valve. We're good to go on the Instapot. You've got a manual button, it starts at 12 minutes, and I just hit the plus button to 15. That's all we're gonna need for about three pounds of these split breasts, and we'll be good to go. Let's go take a look at our cocktail of the day while these breasts cook up for our awesome curried coconut chicken salad. Our cocktail of the day to go with the chicken salad is a Boddington's Pub Ale. It is a light ale from England. These cans are cool. They have a little widget in them that explode with thousands of tiny bubbles to make this an extremely creamy ale. I'm not a huge fan of real carbonated beers. But when I went to England, I had this Boddington Ale. They sell it in the United States. I love it. It is so creamy. As I mentioned, absolutely hardly any carbonation. So light, so airy, very creamy. Perfect for a chicken salad sandwich or a regular chicken salad over some lettuce. This is the beer you want to drink with it. Boddington's Pub Ale. Welcome back folks. It took about seven minutes to get up to pressure and we cooked for 15 minutes or right around 22 minutes. We just did a quick release. We're going to open this, as you know, super safe. I use a towel, turn it, open it away from me. A lot of steam, be safe on this one folks. I always try to remind you safety is key, but we'll keep that steam away from us. Look at those gorgeous, chicken breasts. So you can see the the uh, seasoning stayed right on most of those chicken breasts. What's nice at this point, I've got the trivet with the handles and these, this trivet is not hot 
you can just lift the entire set of chicken breasts directly out and right on to your serving tray, which is easy. You, we can start pulling the meat off of these ribs. Let's start to put this chicken salad together. So I've already started to pull off most of the meat from these split breasts and I just use two forks. It's super tender, really easy to do. Just pull it off all of those bones. And these are pretty large breasts, these split breasts. So what I'm gonna do is use two of the breasts for the chicken salad and I'm gonna save the other two breasts just for pulled chicken meat. We're gonna throw those in tacos this weekend. We'll put it in, in some burritos, maybe some chicken alfredo, whatever you wanna do. Uh, I always just seal them in uh, a sealed bag. There'll be plenty of meat coming from these two breasts and they're so tender. You, like I said, just use two forks. The meat pulls right off of the rib bone and then we'll put it right inside of this bowl and start to season it and make the chicken salad. So I just finished pulling all the meat off of two of the large split breasts and look at how much meat that produced. This is going to be fantastic for, you could have four people that could eat this for, a, like I said, a chicken salad sandwich. Maybe you want to make uh, a chicken salad over lettuce. Plenty of pulled meat. It took me about one minute to pull that tender meat off of those chicken breasts. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to add all the ingredients for this tasty chicken salad. It's one of my favorites, it's one of my own recipe. We're gonna start with about a quarter a cup of coconut milk, and I've kept this in the refrigerator so it makes it a little thicker. Now growing up, my mom was a big Miracle Whip person. She also liked Hellman's, but whenever she made chicken salad, she always used Miracle Whip. So I've kind of gone the Miracle Whip route as well. Maybe about two tablespoons, one, two. Since this is going to be a coconut curry salad, you know I love this Oriental curry powder. If you can find it at an Asian store, I put in probably not a full tablespoon, but close to it. A couple of different flavors here, a about a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar and about a teaspoon of mirin. It's a Japanese sweet cooking rice seasoning mix. It is very sweet. Don't use too much of it. You could use sugar if you want. I like to add that sweet balance with the rice vinegar. Here we have some Honey mustard, I put in about one good tablespoon of honey mustard. This is just a package of honey mustard. You can use regular Dijon mustard, throw in some honey. I'm sure you have it laying around the house. Honey doesn't spoil from what I've heard, it never spoils. We're going to add just a little adobo, one of my favorite seasonings. It's got a lot of goodness in it. Himalayan sea salt on top. Don't forget a little bit of crushed pepper. And finally, the ingredients that bring it all together. About a quarter of a cup of golden raisins. Make sure that they're golden. I'm gonna put those inside this chicken salad. Golden raisins. Hearts of palm. Some people like to put celery in their chicken salad. Hearts of palm add a really unique flavor and a tiny little crunch, about a quarter of a cup of hearts of palm. And last but not least, I have a blend of green onion and cilantro. So we're just gonna put that in. And folks, that's it just blend it all together. I'm a big fan of Dave's Killer Bread. I'll probably throw this on a couple of pieces of that wheat bread. It's very tasty. Or probably tomorrow I will throw it on 
a bed of romaine lettuce, but this chicken salad, folks, is unique. It's got a little sweet, a little savory. It's got a lot of fun flavors going on, but you are going to love this chicken salad. And what's nice, we did four chicken breasts. Two of them, we make this huge bowl of chicken salad that we can have for lunches during the week as well as two large chicken breasts left over that I mentioned we can use for tacos or burritos or some type of pasta, anything you want to mix them with. Make sure that you, you know, seal them properly so you can save them for as long as you want. But this is our curry coconut chicken salad. Let me give this a little taste. It, it's creamy. The Boddington beer I mentioned was creamy, but because you put in that creamy coconut milk, oh, the chicken is super tender. All the flavors coming together. It's got the little bite of the curry, a little sweetness. You can taste the cilantro. Folks, this is a winner. You're going to love this chicken salad. I hope you enjoy it. This has been a fun dish to make for you today, folks. We're here in Florida. We're starting to open up a little bit. Things are starting to come back to a little bit of normalcy, but please stay safe out there. Thanks to all of our health workers. And as always, remember, if you ain't cooking under pressure, you ain't cooking. We'll see you next time.